Hi Virgo, this is a general love reading for June 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. And because it is general, it's not going to resonate for all of you and the roles can be reversed. But if you want, you can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading for which all the information is in the description box. So let's get into it. Let's see. What is going on with Virgo? One sec, because the other card went flying. All right, and we have signs and destruction. Okay, so there are definitely some signs that are presenting themselves either to you or to another person that are pointing towards a destruction of some sort, okay, for some kind of a situation. This means that some situation needs to come to an end or something needs to completely be um, changed here, brought down in order for there to be a, re a rebuilding. So let's see what this is about. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the first half of June. That was the Four of Wands, in case you were curious, which does talk about a very strong bond, actually. So, for the situation, we have the moon crossed by the Six of Wands. Alright, so it feels like somebody's um, ego might actually be getting in the way when it comes to really allowing some repressed emotions or feelings to come up to the surface. So we'll see more when we clarify, though. Uh, for the recent past, we have the Hanged Man. For the near future, we have the devil. Okay, so this is a situation that feels like maybe it has been stagnant or that it has been um, in, the situ in the same situation for a while. Um, it could be a situation where one of you or somebody has constantly just been thinking and thinking and trying to see the situation from this perspective and then from that perspective but then still kind of staying in this state of fear possibly <clears throat> or just kind of um it just has kept somebody in the dark and having the devil in the near future it actually feels like we'll see we'll see because it's interesting because normally we would say that this is a very negative um card and it's unhealthy energy but i actually feel like it's this unhealthy energy that is actually coming up to the surface so let's continue and we'll see when we clarify. So for your energy, we have the Ten of Pentacles. For them, we have the Eight of Wands. More for you is the King of Pentacles. For them, the Ten of Swords. Potential outcome is the Ace of Cups. <laughs> so finally, a very positive card here. Um, and a message for you is the Two of Wands. Okay. Virgo, there's, um, I, I feel like you are really in your power here. Um, you, you strongly have this sense of wanting a commitment and you feel like you have exactly what it takes in order to provide that. And the question is, does the other person have that? For, for the other person here, there's definitely some kind of action that is being taken <clears throat> And I feel like this action is leading <clears throat> towards some kind of an ending. And I do feel like it is some kind of an ending that needs to take place because there's also these signs leading to that. And so I feel like this is mostly concerning your person here. But again, we'll see more when we, when we clarify. <clears throat> Either way, I mean, having that Ace of Cups as the potential outcome is, is beautiful. So I do see that this challenge is being overcome and it feels like it's, it's very different from the rest of this reading. So it feels like it might actually even happen kind of suddenly, or it's going to happen, you know, a little bit later on, especially having that two of wands as the message. You know, it might be that, you know, certain things need to play out. We'll see, we'll see. So let's start. Let's 
clarify the moon and the six of wands. All right, we have the page of wands, the emperor, and the three of wands. All right, so this is somebody who who deep down really knows what they want, all right? There's a situation here that they, they know exactly what it is that they want, but there's a lot of stalling, there's a lot of waiting, just as there was in the past. Um, again, I feel like it's these emotions that are being repressed, and a big part of the reason why is because this person feels like they need to have this sense of control. There's this um, sense of feeling very vulnerable when it comes to allowing certain emotions to come up to the forefront because that would be in contrast with this person's ego. And for that reason, there is, there is some stalling here. There's a lot of waiting. Not that they don't know what they want though. It's um, with that page of wands, there is this there is this drive from within to actually move forward. But it's, their, it's very clear to me that it's their ego holding them back. Let me see the Ten of Pentacles for your energy. So I mostly feel like this destruction, again, I feel like it has to do with your person. And I feel like this ego is also your person. And that this is what actually needs to be destroyed. And, you know, I mean, there there could always be a third-party situation. Because I know that for a lot of my followers, they're, they're in those types of situations. But, even in that case, the message here is that it's the ego that needs to be destroyed first. Or this strong, strong um, holding on to the ego in an, in an unhealthy way. Which is keeping this person back. All right, so clarifying the Ten of Pentacles for you, we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the Hierophant. So again, you're coming across as being as being very grounded. You're you're very stable. You know what you want. You have a high level of commitment, and I feel like you know you're not. You don't want anything less than that. It's, it's coming through as you don't want to be an option. You don't want there to be confusion. You don't want there to be, you know, is this stable or is this not? Is this person going to be consistent or are they not? Are we going to have something long term? Is that door up opening up or is it not? For you, it's like there's no question about it. <clears throat> Let's see the King of Pentacles. The Star, the Knight of Swords, and the Four of Swords. I think you have provided a lot for this person. Um, it could even be that this is your energy now, but it's mostly coming through as just something that you've been doing, which is really just being very consistent. You were, you have been stable. You have been there. You have always offered this commitment. Like that was always an offer on the table for this person. And this is also, you know, what, what you really wanted in return. And I feel like you didn't get that or you haven't been getting that in return. And it's, it's almost like it's time for you to heal that. And I feel like for a lot of you, you already are healing the fact that you haven't been able to get that. And whatever that has triggered in you, whatever wounds you know that has brought to the surface from your past, whatever it is that needs to be healed deep inside when it comes to not having that reciprocated, that is what you are currently healing. And if you don't feel like you are, then maybe take this as encouragement to do so. So let's... Let's see deeper what is going on with, with the other person here. Let's see this Eight of Wands. Because it does look like there is some action here. Okay, so the Four of Cups. 
the Page of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. Okay, so I see a progression here from movement, from being very passive, not reciprocating the stability, not even being able to really see how stable you were or the commitment that you were providing, almost like taking that for granted. And there's this movement here. That's what this action is about. It's this progression from that to this page of pentacles and then jumping right to the king of pentacles. So it's like there's this action that is being taken from taking all of this for, for granted and taking some steps towards that, towards that commitment. Um, but again, in order for that to happen, something needs to be released here. Something that has been um, weighing heavy on this person, something that they've been, a burden they've been carrying, which is, I feel that, Ten of Swords. It's what that's leading up to. There being an ending. It's, it's the same energy here, almost. Or at least this is actually referring to the same situation of needing to, to release. And I feel, like I said, that it is, it is that ego, that need to be right or the need to be in control, the need to be successful. Okay, so when I say the need to be successful, obviously there's nothing wrong with being successful. That is what we would want. But it's this, the false... Um, idea of what success actually means. It, it, that's how this is, um, this ego and this need for success is coming through. It's like the excessive need for success, but not understanding that success really comes from within. It's really how you feel in your life, not what you present to the outside world. So let's clarify the Ten of Swords. The Eight of Wands again and the Page of Cups. There's action that's being taken towards this ending, towards that destruction. And I do see it coming from a genuine place here with that Page of Cups. Like it's really, you know, um, allowing the inner self, the emotional self to come through and to overpower that ego. So I do see steps being taken in that direction. So let's actually see this devil, which is in the near future. Yeah, okay, the sun, the chariot, and the four of wands. So yeah, this is confirming that I was right in what I said, that it's this devil really coming to the surface. I feel like it's this devil, right, this unhealthy energy that has been um, hiding. It's been hiding in this person. And with the sun, see, I love how we have that contrast now with the moon and the sun. The sun is showing up with the devil. So it's like this devil is coming to the surface. That is what I had said, that it is coming up. It's coming out of hiding and coming up to the surface, like presenting itself like, hey, look, here I am. This is what your issue is. This is what has been holding you back. This is what has been keeping you stagnant. This is what has been giving you illusions of what success really is or about control or, you know, whatever, whatever the, the issue is here. Okay, or even if it is um, concerning another commitment that might be toxic, it's that toxicity. It's coming up to present itself like, look, here I am. Look at me. See me. This is what is wrong. This is what the problem is. Okay, and because of that, look at that, the chariot and the four of wands. There's that movement, that action taken towards stability. And it might feel like it's a little bit out of control at first. It might feel to them as being impulsive. To you, it might feel like if, if you're in contact and or if you can observe them in some way, it might appear like it's all over the place. Um, and that's probably because it will be um, initially. But it is ultimately moving towards stability because the problem has now come to the surface. And that eventually is leading up to that Ace of cups but again because the message here is the two of wands i do feel like it is taking some time 
So let me just clarify the Ace of Cups. But like I said, the initial steps, they're already, they're already being taken. There's already this progression here. All right, wow, wow, wow. Look at this, clarifying the Ace of Cups. We have Justice, Temperance, and the Magician. That's like, that's like a huge, like 180 turn here, like completely different from this devil's energy. This is all about bringing things to justice, making the right decisions, um, things being balanced, things being healed, and actually manifesting this love, manifesting the Ace of Cups, manifesting the healing, manifesting the balance, manifesting the justice. I feel like we couldn't have had a more beautiful um, ending to this reading. But again, you know, keep in mind, it might, it might take a little bit of time, and in the meantime, I feel like the message for you here is to continue healing, healing your own self, whatever, whatever there might be um, for you to heal. And I feel like you're already doing that. All right, Virgo. If this resonated, let's get your final messages. We have <laughs> the full moon in Leo, and I think, actually think that Leo got this as well. Um, don't let pride get in your way. And so the way that this is coming across to me is that it is for this person. Finally releasing that ego, releasing their pride, not letting pride get in their way. Why? Because it's coming up to the surface to be released. So Virgo, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.